Oh, and uh, just in case you were wondering, this 1x2 tile is, this is what represents his base plate. Base plate now. Hey there, I'm Jace Bricks, and today I'll be reviewing my first ever custom on this channel of Professor X from Marvel Comics. Enjoy the review. So here is Professor X in his little chair, the custom and all, and I am actually very, very happy with how this came out. It's based off the 1990s X-Men animated series that was released in the 1990s, obviously, and I am very, very happy with its look, like I said before. I made this build in probably 15 to 30 minutes of putting together and taking apart the build to figure out what I really wanted in what I really wanted to end up with as the final cut. And I got this and what I think is an amazing contraption. And it's the little things like the headlights right here or his blanket that make me so happy and so content with this custom. I just am very proud of the build and this is one custom that I will be keeping forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean it's just awesome. It represents the 90s cartoons very well and I'm pretty sure anyone who sees this will know that it is Professor X and I am very happy. This was just all created for my mind. No tutorials from YouTube, just all plain what I wanted it to end up looking like and I'm very happy with what it turned out to be. So here is the Professor X minifigure and I think this minifigure is phenomenal and it resembles the Professor very very well, especially when he's sitting down. Um, however, if you didn't know already and you can guess, the legs when he's sitting in the chair they are not there. I just added this on so you know it just wouldn't be a torso on a pedal stool. And so to actually be an actual figure. And this is what ideally he'd look like if he was to be, you know, standing up and whatnot. So for this minifigure, I use the Colonel Hardy face. You can also get this in the Two-Face Chase and any of the Lego um, Marvel or DC Comics uh, guards. They usually have this face um, for the torso, I use the mayor's torso that we get in the city hall. However, I switched out it with flesh hands, so instead of the yellow hands. And yeah, this is um, the Professor X. I think it's a great representation of him. Um, I'm very proud of it. Uh, the legs, the torso, hands, face, four pieces. It's awesome. Or is it three? Yeah, it's three. I don't know how to count, obviously. But yeah, this minifigure, I think it represents him very well. But however, you may be like, why'd you pick this face? Um, it was because I really didn't have an old face I liked. The Gandalf face was really too old. The Superman face had a double-sided face, so that wouldn't have worked for a bald guy. I didn't like Lex Luthor's face for him, it looked too evil. Um, I never liked Bruce Wayne's face. I know a lot of people use that for their Professor X. I never thought that was a good idea. I didn't like it. But I like this one because it looks kind of... It looks kind of like generic in a way. But not like generic like... Uh, uh, like Walmart cookies. More like generic like... Plain and happy like Professor X. And an old happy guy. Which I think Professor X is. So uh, yeah. There is this Professor X. So here is his wheelchair without him in it, and I think it's actually a really, really cool build if you haven't heard before. So here are some headlights, these represent headlights, these two transparent orange studs. And I think this looks just like the cartoon show's wheelchair, and it's actually really nice. Um, all made from yellow pieces except the headlights, um, yeah, originally there had some gold pieces in it, but then I was like, I just want to make it yellow fully. So, here it is, and I think it's awesome, so, yeah. Oh, and uh, just in case you're wondering, this 1x2 tile is what represents this blanket. Yeah, this blanket. And here it is, the main inspiration for this figure. Um, a Professor X toy, I believe, that was released in the 90s, around when the show was released. Um, however, I didn't obviously get it in the 90s. I actually bought this for $3 at a toy shop that was selling old um, toys, so that was actually a really good deal. 
and this, uh, like I said, is based from this. I didn't have any really that many gold pieces that make gold, so I made it yellow. However, it really is yellow in the TV show. So actually, that I actually did pretty good. But I think this is actually a pretty good resemblance between the two um, of them, the wheelchair and all being futuristic and stuff. But yeah, I mean, this was the um, overall inspiration for the figure and, you know, the 1990s cartoon and, you know, just Professor X in general. So yeah, guys, that's it for this review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment so you can be entered in my 100 sub giveaway when I do do that, when I get 100 subs. So yeah, this figure was based off of the 1990s cartoon, if you didn't already know that. Like I've said in the video multiple times, I made this figure in dedication to X-Men Days of Future Pass coming out on May 23rd. Make sure you go check it out. It's going to be an amazing movie. I'm going to go check it out. Uh, yeah, this is Professor Rex, and he is being, you know, just Professor Rex, the founder of the X-Men. And, he, yeah, he's being a crippled old guy that has telepathy and is playing chess with another old guy in a plastic cell. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. So here is the Professor X minifigure. We figured you a little well. So here is his wheelchair without any no him in it. I'm speechless, honestly. So here he is, Professor X, the main minifigure thing of this land. Oh, 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 oh. What are you thinking? What's the last thing you remember? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that.